Hello everybody, how are we doing? Welcome back to Synalytics Crypto. Finally getting around to making that API 3 video, guys. I've been talking about it for a couple days, but just been super busy trying to improve my channel here. In fact, I went out and got a new um, webcam, but after much debate to troubleshoot what's going on, turns out I just have a bad USB port on one side of my computer. So I'm gonna have to go and um, see how I can navigate that because I'm not the most technically inclined person, but I'm learning every day. So anyways, guys, good to see you all again. This here is one of my favorite cryptos. I got involved in this as quickly as I could when it came out on Uniswap. Um, I did not get into the pre-sale, so I didn't get the pre-sale price. I was a little bit nervous about pulling the trigger on this because there was a pre-sale and that's the cheapest you're gonna get in. So I think it came out, I could be wrong, at about 30 cents, forgive me. Um, and then it went up to about a dollar thirty-three. So um, my entry point on this was a dollar thirty-three, because that's the first opportunity I had to get it. And I'm glad I did, because I've been holding it ever since. I have not tried to swing trade API three because I really believe in this project. I really think this is a good one, you guys. Um, the first person who turned me on to this was Elio Trades. He really highly promoted this, and he continues to promote this. I think he's some sort of advisor, or he has something to do with this project. So he will be continuing to talk about it, which is always good, because when a market influencer can um, be invested in a project and talk about it on their platforms where hundreds of thousands of people get a chance to see it, that is always good. So if you add that along with the technical aspects of it, what API 3 brings to the table. We're looking at what I believe could be a very solid investment even at these prices right now. This is not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. I'm just giving you my opinion on this and the full disclaimer of how much, well, not how much I have, but what I bought it at and the fact that I am a holder of API 3. So we are going to go down here and we're gonna, let's pull up the, let's pull up the 30 day chart, chart because there's a little bit more information involved with that that I think will actually really help us understand what's going on here. So, um, yeah, I got in just a little bit under this price right here. I was a holder, like I said, I was not interested in swing trading, um, but you know, it pumped up pretty well. I think a lot of people did take profits here. They were, they were smart and then we kind of moved sideways a little bit with an upwards momentum and we hit the all time high of $6. There was a rejection and then it hit it again pretty quickly, another rejection, and then it barely touched to $6 again with another rejection, which sent it down into just sideways, a little bit up and down price action, and then we bottomed out not too long ago here, um, right around the $4.50 mark. And um, I do follow their Telegram because there's a lot of good information on there. There's a lot of moon boys too, so you gotta kind of surf and navigate that. But, um, it's just a great project, you guys. I really believe that because of what it represents, uh, they're calling it a competitor to Chainlink. I think some of the people that started API 3 were one of the first node holders or node, uh, they were the first people running a node on Chainlink and they got a chance to see some of the shortcomings of Chainlink. Now, um, I am not fudding Chainlink. I love Chainlink. I hold Chainlink. I think it's great. It's got, it, I mean, it's, it is the market standard for, um, what it does in the space. And it is a, an Oracle solution that provides a lot of interaction between blockchains. And um, it's just the dominant monster right now. But the fact that this came out and it has a chance to compete with that, I, I'm not saying it's gonna reach that market cap at all. I do have a target personally of this market cap eventually getting to a billion which would be great if they can really implement what they're doing. They are forming partnerships, so they're still kind of just getting started. It's a really relatively new cryptocurrency. It's not even like two months old. So um, really it's just something that I think is what I call a solid investment. And from there, we've gotten some pretty good price action here. And you can see there's been no major dumps of this whatsoever. This is not a pump and dump coin, which I think is great. This to me is a very, very healthy chart. Um, it once again, just what yesterday reached its all time high again, got another rejection and then kind of tried to approach it again and then a little bit of a rejection and then boom, we've got a lift off right here. 
I still think this is steady growth. I don't think this has been pumped too much by any of the big people. In fact, a lot of the people I follow don't even really talk about API 3 because they just either don't really care about it, don't really know about it. I'm not sure. I don't know what they're thinking, but we're going to look at some of the fundamentals for the price anyway and what kind of action we're getting. So the market cap's just under 150 billion, or I'm sorry, 150 million. Uh, that's good. We've got a trading volume of a 24 hour trading volume of just over 50 million. So we're looking at roughly about a third of the trading volume uh, compared to the market cap. That's good and healthy. That's just good fundamentals right there when you're looking at that kind of stuff. Oh, look at this. It breaks that down for you. You know, it doesn't do that on my phone um, where I'm usually looking mostly on my phone. But for the sake of doing a video, we're doing a screen overlay so we could look at this together because I enjoy doing this together with you guys. The 24 hour low is 543, 24 hour high is 752. It's just a little over $7 right now as we speak. Also good market cap rank 183. A lot of room for growth here, you guys. If this thing can get you know upwards of towards about a billion dollar market cap, which would be a great target for that. We're looking at what, about a 6X? Um, that's great. Steady growth, guys. This is really what is really good to be involved in, especially if you've made money on some lower all caps and you have you're looking for a good place to put them. Uh, I like this one. Uh, I do have a pretty 50-50-50 split with um, API3 and Chainlink. I have not got involved in any of the other ones that are competing. I do hold a little bit of Dia, but I'm just not sure if Dia is really going to get there or not. It's had some good price action, but we're in a bull run. Everyone's looking pretty good right now. Um, but mostly it's just API3 and uh, Chainlink. Band, I'm not a big fan of Band. Um, not knocking the project, you guys, just personally for me, I, it had such a huge pump before API3 even came out. And now I think that this one's gonna kind of steal the thunder a little bit. So uh, I like it a lot. I really wanna know what you guys think. Leave a comment in the comments uh, section below. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you, where you think it may be going. Tell me whether you're holding the coin or if you're thinking about holding the coin. It's always good to digest information from what everyone, the populace is saying because you can kind of get a really good uh, flow of, of the general populace and where they're kind of putting their money. You guys, when I watch a crypto YouTube video from one of my favorite people, I, while I'm watching and I'm listening to what's going on, I'm reading comments the whole time because the community will really give you a lot of insight into exactly what the collective thinking towards a certain project is. And that's valuable information. A lot of what I've done, the success I have had in the last year or so is listening to the community, doing your own research, the, D, the, the whole DUYOR thing. That's a lot of doing your own research. It's You can look at the technical fundamentals of a project or uh, you know that's part of it as well, obviously. You can look at the price action of what's been going on, but the community really has a voice. And we see that in things like Cardano and a few others where they have just such a community that really believes in the project and is going to support that project. That helps you from avoiding things that are gonna just crash and dump overnight and you're wondering what happened to your investment. So um, I like it a lot. It is an Oracle solution. We're gonna look at what we are the availabilities of buying API 3. Let me, can I see, see all trading pairs? Um, because when this came out, I my only option, like I said, was Uniswap. And now you can look, it's been picked up by, this has been happening over the course of the last six or seven weeks or so. It's been picked up by a lot of major exchanges. OKX, Huobi Global, SushiSwap, well, the swaps, the, the DEXs seem to have everything. But um, this is looking good. There's been quite a bit of chatter as to, uh, oh, it's on KuCoin. I didn't know that. It's on KuCoin now. That's great. It's another option for buying and selling outside of Uniswap because those fees are getting ridiculous, guys. We really need a layer two solution. I don't know. Are you guys struggling like I am with the whole Ethereum thing? I've got a bunch of stuff on Uniswap that I'm afraid to, to even buy or sell or, or anything because you were looking at fees being upwards of like a hundred dollars right now and that's kind of crazy we we certainly need a solution that would be really good for some of us who don't have thousands of dollars to toss around on cryptocurrencies especially if you want to invest in a few things and have a nice bag and have a nice diversification of your portfolio so that you're not all invested in one project because if something goes wrong with that project you, it's just tough when you take losses like that it's really hard to recover from stuff like that so 
Um, yeah, this is good. This is it's listed on more exchanges than I really thought because I haven't paid attention because, like I said, I picked it up on Uniswap. But this is good information here, right, guys? I'm really glad to see that. There's been some chatter. Now, I'm not going to start rumors because that's not really – I'm not trying to – tell you guys things that aren't true but from what I've heard because of the telegram chatter is that um, people are hoping and wanting obviously everybody wants to, and hopes to get on Binance because it's the highest volume centralized exchange out there um, but there is talks of this on the telegram of them getting a Binance listing it's good to see that they're doing some volume some good daily volume I mean 50 millions nothing to sneeze at so if this project gets listed on Binance, there will be a huge pump. There will be a huge legitimacy brought to this, and that's where I think you're going to start to see those gains. My target, my personal target for API3, my conservative target, because I'm mostly a conservative person here on Synalytics Crypto, is to reach and breach the $10 mark. That would be really healthy. That would show there's a lot of progress. You can see that um, there's pretty much, most everybody's pretty much happy with this project right now. I would imagine so. Um, do I suggest getting in at a, at a top like this? I really don't, but at the same time, if you're looking for good projects that are long-term holds, you really just try to find the right entry point. And if you have the right patience, you can wait for the dips. But you can see there's been plenty of dips along this ride, and there's been plenty of peaks as well. So are we reaching a new level to where maybe we're going to bounce between 6 and 7 now, or maybe between 7 and 8? I don't exactly know. That has yet to be determined. but. If you do like this project, definitely try to find the right entry point that is comfortable for you. My number one investing advice is to never throw more money at anything or be overly invested. Do not play with money that you cannot afford to lose. So, you know, rent money, car money, stuff like that. You need to take that off the table and um, not overextend yourself because then you every little bit of movement can really just cause... A bit of panic within you and uh, I've been there that's why I'm speaking so openly about it I've been there many times and I've learned a lot from it so don't invest more than you have to lose because you could just assume that anything could go to zero overnight this is crypto things move very quickly and um, that's just the world we live in but let's just read a little bit about this API 3 is a platform for decentralized API services targeted at the web 3 infrastructure Data feeds are served and governed in a decentralized manner. That's always good. In the standard internet web, APIs are hosted by centralized services leading to a single point of failure. Conversely here, data will be distributed across different providers and will also be accessible by smart contracts. A lot of technical jargon, but this is good stuff here. This, of course, everybody can make their projects sound great, but there's a lot of good fundamentals here. There is a whole lot going on with API 3 that I think is really about to start coming um, out into the limelight, whether larger crypto YouTubers are going to, like I said, start speaking about this more or not. I want to be able to bring this to whoever seems to be following my channel and is in involved with what I'm doing. I've got a lot of great feedback from you guys. I really appreciate it. You've been very supportive. Um, channel's growing. I'm very happy to see it. We're almost halfway to where I want to be, which is my first thousand subscribers, where I'll be doing some Cardano ADA giveaways. Um, but, you know, this is just another project that I really do like. I want to bring to your attention for those who are subscribed to this channel. So if you could drop a like and if you could share this with somebody, I really, would really appreciate it. The growth has been great and um, we're having a good time. It's a good time to be in crypto and things are moving well. So. Um, be smart with your investments and definitely don't be greedy if you've made some money. Take some off the top. Uh, full disclosure, I have not sold any of my API 3 yet because I really am looking for that $10 and beyond mark. And at that point, maybe I'll try to get my initial investment back and just let the rest ride because I do think that this is going to grow very well over the next coming months and into the summer. Does API 3 have a token? Yes, API 3 token is the governance token for the DAO. Holders of the token will be able to participate in governing the direction of the protocol. Fantastic. Holders can also stake their tokens to secure the network while being able to earn rewards for their contribution. As far as I know, staking is not available yet. Um, I do suggest that if you're going to get involved in this project that you follow the telegram so you can stay up to date on that because when staking comes out, that's going to be really good. People are going to want to invest in the project so they can put it aside and stake it. I don't know what the lockup's going to be. I don't know what the APY is going to be, but 
anytime you have a token that's going to be offering staking, that's always a good thing because you're going to earn free API. So um, that's about it for now. Just a quick short video of my personal interest in this project. And again, like I said, do your own research, see what you think and leave some comments. Let's have some open discussion and let's just have a good time investing guys and watching our investments do well. I'm just going to give a quick little refresh just because I want to see what the last couple minutes have brought. Ah, nothing much. Still right where we're at. All right. Looking good. Um, I'm going to continue to work on some of these technical problems and I'm going to try to get to maybe one more video tonight because there's a couple other things I'd like to discuss about Nord Finance and Unilend. Is it Unilend? UFT. What is UFT? Let's look real quick because these guys are partnering with each other and I think that they're both going to do very, very well. They still have relatively small market caps um, and I just see these particular two going places in my personal opinion. Yeah, Luna, Unilend. Unilend and Nord Finance. A lot of people have not even heard of Nord Finance yet. Do a little research if you want uh, before I come up with this video. So if there's things that I don't know, maybe you can, guys can enlighten me about that as well. And um, we can explore some new, decently sized market cap investments, possibilities on the horizon. Anyways, have a great night. Um, thank you for watching. I very much appreciate it.